All right, hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to uh, focus on cheeks, uh, from hollow cheeks to full cheeks like Santa or child's cheeks, and also a kind of a, a thin looking cheeks when a person's a very thin face. So we're gonna start out with our um, tools that are buffed to make sure that your glove is on, and let's get ready to go. And again, we're just going to do a, a, a very uh, plain, uh, face here and nothing really out of the ordinary and again we're going in with our swooping cuts our pushing cuts we're pushing away from us and so again we're just going to create this eye plane and again we have on our the corner here we have a 90 degree angle so always remember that and try to keep that pretty even across through there. That way you create this little peak right here. So on each side, <clears throat> take off the wood from the, each side of the nose area. Then come down here and do your rocking cut. Now, if you ever wanna shorten the nose, just keep going up you know, on taking the wood away. So if you find that your nose is a little too long for what you're wanting to do, why well, just just walk yourself up to the point to where you're you're happy with uh, that look. So anyway, so we're going to come in here now. Re remember, we're going to be focusing on the cheeks today, and we're going to put in our uh, short smile lines right in here, and because we're going to maybe create a mustache possibly we'll just see how it, how it uh, goes today remember your three planes now I'm going to create the bridge of the nose here even though we're working on the cheeks focus on that today Still have to have these things in here for you to be able to understand what we're trying to accomplish today. This picture's worth a thousand words. All right, so now we're to this point here. I'm just cleaning up the nose area here. All right, sorry, but we're gonna have to go just a little deeper over here to match this side here a little bit. All right, let's leave that alone for now. Let's come in here and create our smile lines to connect to the nose. I've got to turn my wood here a little bit. All right, and um, so now we're gonna take our pencil here and we gotta draw in for the side of the face for us to be able to create this cheek area right in here. And so whenever you, you're, you're placing your face on here, you gotta think about the temple area, which is right about in here. That way your, your face has a more natural look. And that way, if you had a hat up here, that head will fit into that hat more fluid-like. And you can see here, I've got one that's just a little bit longer than the other one. Well, that's okay because you know, we, we may put a mustache down that's down this way. And hand, big old handlebar mustache. And so for us to create the cheeks, we're going to come in here now and um, put a stop cut right here and right here around the cheek area, uh, excuse me, the temple area. And we're going to take our knife. And this is already given us an area to where we can work with the cheek. Now again, we're gonna to try to go for here a, a happy looking cheek, a, a happy looking fella here. And so again, we're gonna do a little grunt work right here. Turn my wood. See, that gives us an area here to work with. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to take, oh, this is about a 3 16th or whatever, 
about now a little higher about a quarter excuse me and we're going to take and cut outline the cheeks here now you if you don't want to put a mustache on let's just say well, okay, for right now let's just work focus on the cheeks so if we're going to um, try to make these cheeks more pronounced then you you come in here with your V tool and make this area right in here very deep okay and because then you can put in your mustache here after a while so let's visit this area here let's let's continue to round that around and have to turn a little bit <laughs> to get the depth here that I want to go to <clears throat> okay so now what we're going to do is start rounding the cheeks now we're, we're wanting him to be a jolly looking guy in a way so we're going to start removing the edges i've said before there is no sharp edges on the human face so when i start rounding these cheeks and i'm bringing them down then I'm going to come back in here and revisit this area to lower this back to bring those cheeks out a little bit better. So we got to get our areas established here first. So let's drop our lines of our cheeks down to where it's hitting the mustache area. All right, I know I do a lot of turning, but it's for me to get control and make the good safe cuts, it's, it's gotta happen. All right, so we, we're seeing a little bit of puffiness here in the cheeks. And again, we're gonna come in here and then just keep working this around. Now, whenever we are to this point here, let's, let's, let's clean this up right in here a little bit. That's a bug in me for some reason. All right, so let's create a mustache here. Now, when you make the curve of the mustache, I lean my V tool, get that out of the way, you can see I lean it on its side, and then I come right out of it. I come right out of it. I go straight on. All right, so again, we're making this mustache right here at the corner where it starts to turn. I make that pretty deep. Okay, just like that there. And um, I'm going to come in here now and remove more of the side of his head. And that's going to create just a little higher cheek area right there. And right in here, I'm going to remove the wood. And this is going to create even more of a puffier cheek right here. <sighs> See how more pronounced that made that by just taking out this a little bit here, right below the area of the eye mound. And so uh, that's, that's a good way to do that. Now let's come in here and let's make the mouth area. I'm taking my knife, making a stop cut right here. And I'm gonna come in here and deepen this here. Focusing on that bend there. Let's stop and look at him. Okay. So we're going to come over here now and we're going to address this side like we did here. Okay. Now let's show 
separation here for the eyebrow area. Work on that eye mound a little bit. Okay, so let's come in here and relieve all this under the mustache area. Such a wonderful sound to hear that knife going through the wood. That's better than your finger. <laughs> so, anyway. And then don't forget to put in a uh, some action right here in the, for the mouth. Because really, when you open your mouth more, that raises your cheeks up and it causes them to be more puffier. And so remember, the more you open the mouth, the more your fellow is going to smile. And the, fa the facial features are so important to a carving. You can have a great looking hand, a great looking foot or a shoe or whatever. But if we don't get this right, uh, nothing else matters. I, I do believe. But, so again, we're... Even with this mustache, you see how I'm visiting these planes, these three planes, it's still important to keep working this dental mound that the mustache is behind and uh, making sure that we have the proper perspective on this guy the best we can. Now again, the wood's gonna give away in places or whatever, or your knife's gonna slip or something, but that's just part of the carving process all right so again if you want to make him more um, take off more here from the side uh, you can see that helped that just by bringing in that head more a lot of people the reason why they have flat faces is one they don't address the dill mound area and number two uh, when their head doesn't fit into the hat they've not taken enough off here on both sides and to create that uh, temple area. All right, so rounding off. Now we're not, we're just focusing on the cheeks here. So address anything where you may have slipped with the knife or the knife would gave away and your knife went into places. So just address that. Remember to keep your tools in good shape. All right, let's open the mouth a little bit by taking out just a little bit there on that mouth area. In that mustache in. And work this side of the mustache.
Okay, well, that's kind of an, I uh, give you an idea here of how we can do some, some puffy cheeks in a way. Um, and so in our next video, uh, we're gonna try to do a little bit more puffier. Boy, I mean, you can really, because then I wanna show you how that affects the eyes when you make the cheeks very high, and then how it affects the eye mounds. And so the next time we meet, well, we'll work on that. And thank you for joining us today, and I hope this has been helpful to you. And uh, this is a, a great time to be practicing. Uh, Any time you can get to carve is, good, is a good time. So again, thank you for joining us, and, and come back and see us soon, and happy carving.